Your intentions are admirable and well-founded, but I'm afraid they're going to waste. I am afraid that they are misplaced by your inability to express yourself. You are incapable of resolving them in any meaningful way in the real world. It has come to my attention that you aren't paying attention. You aren't paying attention to the outcome of your actions. Do you really believe a technological apparatus largely governs your perception? And that this technology takes on the burden of the responsibilities of your actions so you can just mope about in a state of indecision, blindly waiting for someone to make that decision for you? Why don't you grow up and take control of your life? What do you do on your day off? Frolic in the fields and sit around smoking drugs, singing songs on your guitar about saving the planet, thinking that you are changing the world? Well, I've got news for you. You ain't. You're just making things worse by preaching to the converted and alienating everyone. I'm sorry to disturb you. I really am. But you are wasting your time. If you think that anyone is going to fall for a wacky representation of your misplaced ideas concerning our post-industrial environment, if you feel so strongly about the latent fear manifested visually in technological objects, or whatever flawed idea it is that you are trying to convey so ineffectively, why don't you do something about it, rather than just leaving a pile of junk lying around on the floor like that? Looking around this place, it seems to me that you are some kind of Marxist hippie. That you think that science and technology are bad, 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 and that nature is good, good, good. What's so good about nature? It sucks. It is just things living and dying. Perhaps you think that technology is some kind of patriarchal obsession with dominating nature, which results in an organism that's stillborn and characterizes death in its homogenizing tendencies. Well, get over it and come to your senses. What, are you schizophrenic or something? Okay, I'll give you a break. Maybe you're just self-obsessed. You think that somehow you're special and that everyone else is incapable of making their own decisions, that people are under some kind of illusion that their lives are led by external influences that determine their actions unknown to them, that somehow the saturation of technological media in our environment has a part to play in this process. What is this supposed to be? Some kind of revelation? I know, you're delusional. You think that there is some new breed of technological organism that feeds on the human race, like a parasite in some spaced out science fiction film. Well, you ain't fooling me. Okay, so maybe you need some advice. Don't just stand there and be dictated to by your media environment. Go and get some hay bales and pile them on top of each other and paint pictures of cow's nipples. Can you sense a tone of sarcasm in my voice? Oh, you can. Well, why do you think that tone of sarcasm is present in my voice? It's present because you're an idiot and you're wasting time thinking this is going to make a difference to anyone. So, congratulations for messing yourself around. <laughs>